Greetings gentlemen and ladies, I'm the old school game snob and in today's video we are going to take a look at what I would consider to be the best, aka most useful, pieces of unique armor in Diablo 2. This is only unique armor, not rune words, just the unique stuff and the list I'm going to be covering here is uh, not necessarily the top of the top of the tier, although those will be included. These will be anything that is has this, has something kind of useful upon it, according to, to, to this guy, according to me. Now, first off, we have Arcane's Valor. Now, this comes with a nice high armor level, uh, but it also comes with plus two to all skills. As far as I can imagine in my head right now, I don't think there's another unique piece of armor that has plus two to all skills. I think plus one. Well, you can correct me in the comments if I'm, if I'm wrong. Faster hit recovery is always a nice thing and a bit of damage reduction also here the main uh, nice thing about this is that it comes with a decently high armor level and that plus two to haul skills that's not too bad if you're trying to stack skills that might be an option that might be an option not the top of the tier but uh, not a bad piece either let's call it useful and that's the point of today's list useful items not maybe the top of the tier but potentially useful for different sort of niche builds next up we have Rattle Cage. This one is interesting mainly because of that 25% chance of Crushing Blow. If you're trying to stack up Crushing Blow, Rattle Cage may be an option for you, potentially. That's the only uh, nice, useful stat really on this one. Monsters to Flee is kind of a pain, unless you're doing something really weird. Uh, yep, Crushing Blow. Anyway, next up we have Q Higgins Wisdom Plate. This is sort of your um, poor man's uh, vampire magi. Our Viper Magi is what that is. This is a one to all skills, faster, plus 20 for what I'm trying to say. 20% faster cast rate. Uh, it comes faster hit recovery, not bad. Uh, and some magic damage reduction, not bad. But by comparison to uh, Serpent Skin, uh, it's uh, less good. Serpent Skin has the faster cast rate, plus one to all skills. It has uh, all resistances, it has magic damage reduction. Basically, Q Higgins gives you the faster hit recovery which is okay, um, but otherwise, I think it's kind of outshone by Viper Magi. Still, for leveling up, for rolling up a new ladder season, whatever the case may be, Q Higgins is a decent, decent in-between option. Next up, we have kind of a unique one. I find this one kind of interesting, the Leviathan Shell. Now, this is mostly interesting because of that very high armor level potential, very high defense level, I guess I should say. Uh, also, a huge strength buff, just like huge. You could take that 50 points and put it somewhere else, uh, 50 strength and damage reduction of 25%. Now that's the interesting part if you ask me because you could combine this with potentially something like uh, like uh, What is it? Uh, String of ears which uh, has up to 15% damage reduction between these two pieces you would be sitting at uh, Almost you'd be sitting at 45% damage reduction if you wanted to save your shield spot and not use storm shield for example for some reason uh, which also has a nice big damage reduction 35% uh, you could get almost maximum 50% damage reduction between this and something like a uh, uh, String of Ears or Crown of Ages. You could actually get, yeah, 15 plus. So that is kind of an interesting option. It's an interesting option, let's just say. Next up, we have possibly a personal favorite. Well, not possibly a personal favorite. Certainly at least a personal possibility favorite. Maybe my favorite favorite, but certainly a ne nearly my favorite unique piece. And that is because of the plus 15 to maximum resistances for some you can create some very interesting indestructible quote unquote builds with this piece of armor getting all uh, getting basically all your resistances up to 90. Uh, that's that's pretty neat that's pretty cool uh, so guardian angel templar coat next up we have shaft stop you don't see this one used all that much but it has potential to be upped uh, and this one you don't see up to this armor level can get higher so your defense rating can get higher than that if you up it one more time this one has been upped to its maximum uh elite elite level is it elite yeah elite um 1600 up to 1600 and some odd defense nice big life bonus and the big thing here is 30 percent damage reduction so that's a nice big damage reduction compared to 25 over here with leviathan shell did i add that up wrong i did 30 sorry 25 plus 15 equals 40 not 45 uh with shaft stop and string of ears you could get 45 percent damage reduction uh so kind of an interesting piece of armor for that big 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 damage reduction uh next up skin of viper magi uh this of course we've already talked about has a nice magic damage reduction uh all resistances up to 35 30 percent faster cast and uh one to all skills you gotta like it this one's uh obviously an old classic scolder's ire 
This one is cool because if you find this in Ethereal, which this version is here, it has a repairs repair of one durability every five seconds. So this can be Ethereal and just self-repair. And the neat thing about this is you can get a massive defense level. 23, 28 here in probably the best case example. Uh, it also comes with a huge bonus to Magic Fine, 123% at level 99. Uh, and also you could socket that with like an ist for another, is it 30%? Something like that. 25, 30%, I forget. Uh, so this single piece of item, a single piece of armor can just give you a huge, huge magic boost on its own, plus one to all skills, also not bad, magic damage reduction. It's a very interesting and decent piece of equipment. Next up, we have another one of my personal favorites, the Gladiator's Bane. Uh, this one is an ethereal, so this is actually not a good version of this uh, because, I mean, this might be good for your mercenary, maybe, if you're looking to stack his damage reduction for any reason. Uh, could be kind of an interesting option. Um, but ethereal will not self-repair, so you'd have to socket this bad boy with the Zod rune to keep it from disintegrating. But otherwise, the normal version of this is right around 14 or 1500 defense rating. Uh, it has up to 20 damage reduction, up to 20 magic reduction, cannot be frozen. Uh, and Poison Link Reduction. That's all some nice stuff. If you're looking to create an immortal build, Gladiator's Bane is an awesome, awesome tool, a piece of equipment for that. Next up, Ormus's Robes, another one of my favorites. I use this on almost all of my Sorceress builds, it seems like, because how do you argue with an additional 15% to your damage with a faster cast rate, uh, with uh, you know a little regenerate mana thrown in, and possibly the uh, skill of your choice? potentially lightning, potentially blizzard, plus three to something like that. So Ormus's robes, a very, very nice caster item. That's it, guys. That's the unique pieces of armor that I like. If I miss anything that you like, let me know. Let me know in the list, and I'll take a closer look. And I'm going to be doing some more videos like this on some of the other unique pieces. All right, see you later.